and then I'm an MMA. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. How <laughs> old were you when you got into anime? How old was I? Yeah, what, what was your first anime? Well, hang on. Let me, let's start the episode real quick first, and then we'll talk about This is that. the episode. Oh. You're going to fit this shit in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The following weeks, <laughs> Reen said it. Yeah. But we, we didn't have it. I didn't think it was going to do this. <laughs> It was hard to tell how much the Empire's situation was shifting, but one thing was certain. Changes were happening. There was more voice acting towards the end, and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Made it easier on Hello. us. Hello? Oh, With hey. The death of their Check out leaders, her the royal Imperial bosom. Liberation Front's campaign of terror was finally over. Oh, yeah. They're... Oh, yeah, they got blasted. Mm. Oliver's just like, um, uh, I play the loot. I don't play around otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> they did. We got it done good. And in recognition of our actions in Ruhr and at Corellia Fortress, all of us in Class 7 were invited to Valflame Palace. Basically, he took an anti-tank rifle and he goes, look, I shot a jet with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got, well, we don't know who it's did, like, it's just, It's just a gunship. It's a basic, like, yeah. 2142, they don't have jets, they don't have helicopters, they have gunships. Yeah. And a transport. I could always just uh, pilot the transport, so I could never pilot the other one but the gunner was fun mm. anyways jrpg <laughs> there we were granted the honor of an audience with his majesty the emperor eugene the third along with mm. empress priscilla all right the mother of princess alvin and crown prince cedric but no sooner had we been thanked than we came face to face with the leaders of the factions that divided the nation all right i'll see their faces see how doofy they look you got purple eyes the heads of the four great houses who rule their vast provinces with absolute authority. Hey, I don't think we've met the... The big guy. The big guy, or this dude on the left. Yeah. I don't know that fancy fucker. Yeah, we know those two guys. On the right. Those two, I don't think we've actually met them yet. I have no idea who the heck they even are. And the Chancellor hmm. and his close ally, Governor Regnitz, who brought reforms to Heimdall and expanded the railways. We'll figure out who dude one and two are soon enough. Probably. Either in this one or the next game. We'll find out. Both sides were quick to offer us words of praise, but just as quickly turned to criticize each other's role in the crisis. You sucked, actually. You sucked. <laughs> oh, I would bother. You all sucked. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Eventually, His Majesty was forced to step in and rebuke both sides, clearly disgusted by their behavior. Rebuke you, bitch. <laughs> You guys are a bunch of friggin' idiots. Shut up. <laughs> He's like, actually, you all fucked up. <laughs> it's we're all equally worthless. <laughs> you are all equally worthless. <laughs> Lucky I don't moodle you motherfuckers right now. <laughs> As it stood, the terrorists' well, defeat kidding. made it difficult for their supposed Emperor. supporters in the noble wow. faction to act openly. Emperor sounds better than king. Sounds more badass. Emperor sounds more like you've expanded more than a king. King sounds fucking lazy. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, King, you just you just chilling out in your castle, fat boy. <laughs> Emperor's like, yo, I'm going out there. I'm going to conquer your bitch ass. <laughs> Get me closer, horse. I want to hit that with my sword. <laughs> While Crossbell's push for independence was causing enough of a stir over there to keep the reformists busy. Well, yeah, Crossbell's becoming a strong independent nation. With both sides tied up, mm -hmm. it looked like the Empire was in for a long overdue respite from its perpetual conflict. Mm, big words. He goes to college. <laughs> finally gotten all the details for our concert performance worked out. Oh yeah, we're doing that too. And Elliot announced that we'd be doing two songs. A duet between Machias and Eusis, <laughs> and a solo by Emma. Holy crap, seriously? Get a room. <laughs> to no one's surprise, Damn. all three of them were quick to raise objections. But after Crow and Elliot explained their choices, and how their master plan would win over the audience, the rest of the class was totally on board, leaving our new vocalists to resign themselves to the inevitable. How good of a singer do you think Machias would even be? I don't know. He doesn't seem like someone who'd know how to, like, sing. The only thing I didn't understand is why everybody wanted me to be on, in the <laughs> on stage. <laughs> Unfortunately, Aye. with the good times came some sad news as well. <gasps> yeah, you can cut that out. <laughs> It oh, turned out that Marquis Rogner was furious at Angelica for her part in what we did at the mine, and as a result, she got in big trouble. She was forced to leave the academy. Oh. Contrary to the official statement, 
Her withdrawal was to be permanent. Damn. That's done suck. Before she left, whatever, she she's still gonna ride the motorcycle. The horrible bike for her. <laughs> no, actually, we're watching the bike. Yeah, we gotta drive it out to her. At first, I didn't want to. Ugh. I felt like I'd be accepting that she'd be gone. But after thinking it over, I finally agreed. It's a sweet bike. No way I'm giving this thing up. <laughs> With so much going on, we decided to take Prince Oliver up on his proposal of a brief vacation north in Ymir. Ah, that's where you're on the Giants from. It proved to be quite an eventful trip, and it really drove home just how much we'd come to mean to each other. I'd tell you all about it, but we'd be here for hours. Maybe another time. Ah, Diak. Just go on Joe Rogan. What? <laughs> he's older now. I mean, it's, it's like he's four games. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Ooh, uh... Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Character just threw up. <laughs> well, hey, pink haired girl. Pink Can I have haired your attention, girl. Please? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. We'll stop talking about pink hair. I'll, I'll shut up. It's another great day. Perfect weather to start bringing all your great festival ideas to light. I don't know what I think about you anymore. <laughs> She's adorable. That's what you think. Some of you have been preparing since <laughs> last month, and some even longer. I know you're all itching to get started. You're an alien, aren't you? No. So without further ado, I hereby declare the first day of festival preparation begun. Time to start setting up? No, like a Kevin Hart kind of alien. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> we have today and tomorrow, but try not to leave any work until tomorrow night unless you really have to. All right, everyone, let's do this and stay safe out there. I hammered my hand to a board. <laughs> Seriously, we haven't even started yet! <laughs> I missed the nail too. I just hit it really hard. It hurts. <laughs> How? I don't... Uh... I hit the board. <laughs> just go to the nurse's office and stay there. You didn't even say that, right? <laughs> Gosh, we're gonna have a freaking aneurysm. <laughs> hey. He's outside and not smoking? This guy does not make any sense. No, he does not. <laughs> I'm the vice president guy. Guy. I want to, Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you all for the effort you put in over these last two weeks, everyone. I didn't say that right, did I? Yeah, well, at least things are really coming together now. The sign. It's been an exhausting two weeks, though. Seriously, the calendar barfed everywhere. <laughs> it's just, it's all over the floor. <laughs> you said it! <laughs> I don't think I realized how much work we would have to involve. <laughs> Fucking calendar's huge, dude. Hell, we're fed up, oh my god, man. <laughs> we're gonna be gone for a long time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Elliot's merciless taskmaster when it comes to music. Chill out, motherfucker, dude. Yeah, it's like he's unleashes the beast within. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's my dad's side, I guess. <laughs> I just really want this performance to be the best it could be. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You only hit me over the head a few times with the violin. <laughs> yeah, <it> broke. <laughs> That's when I knew I should stop. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport, Rain. <laughs> Given the short time we've had to prepare, I shudder to think what our band would sound like without your guidance. Yeah, I'm sure it sound, it'll sound great. You know, I haven't done his voice in what feels like freaking forever. Yeah, I know. He's been like in two different teams two times in a row, I, I, th I think. I don't know for sure if he has, but it just, it feels like I haven't done his voice in forever. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Masai, <laughs> <coughs> still doing that joke. Masai. <laughs> well, the songs are coming together quite nicely, I must admit. Are we seriously going to do that? Are we? La, I'm better. Come on, give it up already. I'm better. <laughs> Every song is really sounding great. Agreed. I'm sure you'll. Be quite the sight on stage once you're in your outfit. 
Is she thinking I'm gonna cast a spell on you? Nah. The boy. Well, they'll be under her, her spell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You guys, that's not the kind of pressure I need right now. And she said, that's another voice I haven't done in forever either. Yeah, two voices now, damn it. <laughs> I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised at Marcus and Eusis. Who knew they would be so perfectly together? Well, when they're singing about how much they hate each other, it works out pretty good. Yeah, they're, they put their heart and soul into that. It's amazing. <laughs> and to think, an outset I doubted they had it in them to actually cooperate. Yep. Look at them. Crooning together in perfect harmony. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> but that's the worst part. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I've never felt so humiliated in my life. <laughs> hmm. Whoop. What's up, bitches? <laughs> Pretty sure it's a teacher. <laughs> Sounds like, oh, you had a gosh darn good time. Oh, well, let's hate to interrupt. But I can't drink in the hallway, so... Mm -hmm. Just wanted to let you know that Hurtful's given you permission to use the old schoolhouse. Sick. You know, when you kill everything, you can use it to practice or whatever. <laughs> Keep what you kill. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> Feel free to use it for hurt. Holy shit. No, I seriously did not read that first. Wait, what, the, like the whole thing? Yeah. I was just... Talking off the top of my stupid head. Oh. <laughs> you know, whatever you need and all the way through the end of tomorrow. Right, hang on a second, I gotta Why does this keep happening? Well, I forgot to pull this up. Don't worry, I forgot a timer. S really? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh that cat. Stop breaking the fourth wall, you crazy fucker. <laughs> Okay. Get I that have a timer that is 20 minutes behind. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming. I, Phew. I don't think it's that's that weight much. off my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's 20 minutes off. I'm pretty sure we're maybe like 10 to 15. We'll find out in post. Okay, dokie then. Um, I need to. No, seriously. Look what Reen says after I started. The I know. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to pull up because I want to make sure that I don't. Um... S bitch. That's what grade you gotta get now. Yeah, it's all too late for that. <laughs> oh, because he didn't do everything perfect every time but right in the very beginning? I think so, yeah. There's only so much our performance we can we, uh, we can practice in the music room's limited space. Yeah, and the class one's been hogging the auditorium all to themselves. And they suck! <laughs> <laughs> well, considering they're performing in operetta, I'm not sure where else they could practice. Whatever, be, stop being not so damn nice. <laughs> the first floor of the old schoolhouse should be fine makeshift auditorium. I can't even be mean to her. <laughs> <laughs> as far as our practice needs go. It's even got a stage area. What more could we ask for? Sounds like a great solution to me. Uh, every time I step through those doors, I get a little whoop. Woo woo feeling, man. What the fuck's with that place? Uh, what? <laughs> you don't even go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marcus, I don't recall ever taking you. The first of many deceptions by a certain instructor. Should have known the shit would have never stopped after I dropped through the fucking floor. <laughs> I'm afraid that statue of limitations has expired on that one. The. You know. A little bird told me two people might have be in the room right now had a rather intimate experience that day. Bang bang. Oh yeah, yeah her boobs fell on my face. I was thinking of something that Sarah did. Oh. <laughs> oh, tell me! Well, we're gonna bring up the old... There's nothing worth mentioning! Because I didn't go anywhere! <laughs> Seriously, we don't have a relationship! Wait. Stop trying to force it! Did she break his fall? I can't remember no. how that picture looks every time. Mandela. Green was on the ground and she fell on top of him. Oh yeah, concussed. Yep. How did he find out about that anyway? That's actually those things knock you out well, even <laughs> he didn't hit the floor. He <laughs> Well, shall we go <laughs> our separate way yeah, whatever. <laughs> go our separate ways today, then? 
Yeah, our costumes should be coming in this evening. So I think I'll be the best looking one. <laughs> and we're fine spreading today, helping with the setup and decorations. Yeah, let's go to the old schoolhouse and get exhausted first. <laughs> Might as well pitch it while we can. I'm guessing tomorrow's schedule will just as rehearsal written in every blank. Is this going to be like a mini game or they just do it? Uh, the music thing? It's just, no, it's no mini game. We don't do anything. True. It only seems right to spend today helping out our club members. Guess we oughta. Were you planning on helping Toa with any last minute student council stuff, Free? Nah, I'm just gonna hang out with Laura. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, um, the student council's been totally swamped these past few, few days. I figured I'd lend them a hand. I was thinking of looking at in the old schoolhouse while I was out making the rounds, too. That'd be helpful. Even though we'll just be using the first floor, we should make sure nothing has shifted around in there. If you're gonna make a sweep of the place, uh, bring me on my Arcus. I'd be happy as I go along. Nope, never. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, do we bring her as backup? I can't remember. Do we bring her or Gia or Gaius? Uh, I think you brought her just because she has support stuff. Okay. But I don't know. No. Well, because here's the thing. It feels like something we've argued about before. Because <laughs> that's the thing. that We definitely have Reen, Laura... Uh, and Elliot. Elliot. And then we have Emma as backup to yeah. Elliot. And then Uses. Oh, that's right. We would have Uses. Because he kind of could do backup for Reen in case something happened to him. Yeah. Although I think Gaius might be a better backup to Reen because... Yeah, I think I argued that before. Yeah, I think we'll bring Gaius in next time. We'll, we'll have Gaius along with us. Yeah, Reen's overpowered as fuck now. <laughs> Sounds like you've got a lot on your plates. <laughs> All I can say is good luck. <laughs> I'll probably be patrolling the campus, so let me know if uh, you see that vice president guy. I fucking hate him. <laughs> I'll give you guys... <laughs> I mean, he's trouble. Watch out for him. <laughs> I'll give you guys a call as when uh, the costumes come in. I really want us to at least try these on today, just to make sure they all fit. Oh, that yeah. way we can... cinch or something? I don't know what the fuck you do. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. Oh. You didn't have to run all the, all the way over here in turbo mode. Isn't that great? <laughs> I know, right? If you wouldn't mind taking mm -hmm. care of this stuff for me, I'd really appreciate it. No. no problem. I'm glad to help out. I, I ran fast <laughs> when I came here. <laughs> Mail mix up. Our class received a package that clearly wasn't meant for us. We want you to get it uh, to whoever class ordered it. Whichever. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> Video Game Boy, you gotta read it. We were too swamped with preparations to ask around. Could you please deliver this for us? We'll be outside class two, second year classroom, preparing for the festival. <laughs> Please come. Ooh, and, help. Uh, if you can help us out. Bridget, year one, class two. <laughs> right, we know. read the comments. No, we do not. <laughs> yeah, we do. We get like one. <laughs> no, I'm video. kidding. <laughs> one every couple of videos. <laughs> We're doing a special it's not feature. Like any of them's ever been just bots. <laughs> the Reggie oh. Trista on the Academy Festival. We're, but we're running a little short on time on comments. Anyone want to collect the ones out there we need? For, for more specifics, come see me in the Radio Trista building. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird recording. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now she comes in, she's going to be like farts. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, you sucker! <laughs> Suck on that! Oh my god! has got bad smog. Wait till you walk into this room. <laughs> oh jeez! Oh, I don't know why I just I I really like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Saw the execution on that first line. <laughs> Okay. Look, they're making out. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. 
<laughs> Slipped the minds. <laughs> Struck the Beatrix. <sighs> man or a woman? Or is I think it's a chick. A number of students of have yet to collect ones. their permission slips to serve food and drinks at the festival. Given that it's imperative that everyone doing it has a slip, I need them delivered today. The more details speak to me in the infirmary. Yeah, it's the infirmary check. It's, uh, that's a lady. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, have fun with that. I will. Haha. <laughs> Figured. <laughs> They'd probably all be related to the festival in some way. The shops in Trista do seem pretty keen on helping out, though. It, that's nice of them. <laughs> yeah, they do every year. Shut up, Reese. Nothing special. <laughs> Radio Station is even doing a little something for us, too. Alright. I'll see what I can do to keep the ball rolling downtown. Now it was the first smell like farts again. <laughs> great! <laughs> That'd be a big help! <laughs> you go first. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> oh, but remember not to neglect your concert practice, okay? Crow's been telling me about it. It sounds like you guys are really pulling all the stops. <clears throat> That's the idea, yeah. But we haven't started a group rehearsals yet. Most of us have family coming in to watch, though. So, for better or for worse, we're going to give it our all we got. By the way, uh, do you think Angelica will make it? Will make it? Well, <laughs> she's banned from the premises. <laughs> <laughs> Did a shot on sight, I think they said. Jeez. Oh, Sorry, I guess I was not, not looking too hopeful, huh? I just don't know. I've tried calling the Marcus's household. But they won't even let me talk to her. But still, this is Angie. I'm sure there's other. Damn, girl. <laughs> there's nothing to talk about. Don't worry about whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Angie. Would never break a promise. Besides, you guys are all here. Crow's here. George is here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Angie should be here too. <laughs> That's why we need to make this festival a big success. I want Angie to forget the bad times for a little while and hey friend. And I know the current your current server will be the best, be the part of that do it too. Yeah, good good one. <laughs> Jesus. When you put it like that <laughs> I want to do whatever I can to make it a good time for her. Besides, as your fellow as your follow up act, we'd look bad if they weren't cheering just as loud for us. <laughs> Can't we see you guys blow it? I mean, what do you guys have in store? <laughs> do we? Oh, that's a girl's voice. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, Ed. But look at this butt. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but it looks like <laughs> some of the materials we ordered are going to be here late. If we don't do something, it's going to throw a hitch in the preparations. Okay, I'll take another look at the schedule and see if we can rearrange things a bit. Sorry, Ian, it looks like my duty calls. Good luck preparing for the concert. Thanks. <clears throat> I'm okay. <sighs> well, <laughs> no sense of just standing around here. We've got a lot to do in less time than I'd like to do it. Our outfits are going to show up this evening, too. I'll have to try and get as much as I can finish before then. Damn. Okay. Let's go. Sure wish I could control time. <laughs> All right. So the first thing it's hey, so it's creepy camera boy. Yes. <laughs> the first. Thing I mean, what's up, dude? How you doing? First thing he wants me to do is buy some rock salt. You're not even gonna talk to him? No. What? Well, you look so good in the light right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's a door. Uh, Actually, that was a pillar. <laughs> oh, what's up, girls? No, they just what shot. the hell you want? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. A flaky potato. We need ten of those. Actually, yeah, let's look over some of them. You know what? You also need to make more of those uh, coffee things. Yeah, definitely. However the hell you do that. I'm not sure. I need the party to go. Ooh, mature cheese. What's this green stuff on it? Ugh. <laughs> <There's> blue cheese. <laughs> Eat it. Ugh. Get out. <laughs> blue cheese. Ugh. I've tried that once before. I did not like it. It's very, very rich. What yeah. the hell is she doing here? Here you go. Here's, I'll run you 27,800 mirror. 
Ouch, you son of a... No repeat customer discounts in your stores, are there? It's feel better to include the information, too. Of course it does. Don't bark my head off. It sounds like the Red Constellation's still kicking back in Crust Barrel. He can listen, it's fine. It's anyone... Idiot. He does anything I say. <laughs> Hi, Irene. <laughs> Anyone's guesses as to where, though. I can't believe they're still hanging out in that fucking thing. Could you pass uh, the information on to Tovel for me? Sounds like they're discussing the recent terrorist attack in Crossbow. Somebody got pwns over. I guess Instructor Sarah's just as stressed as about everything going on as we are. It's like the world's falling apart. Hey! Stuff I was thinking about trying to get um, some more of the characters have crazy amounts of evasion, so we just dodge everything. Yeah. Um, I can do it later, though. I, we can do it off screen. Yeah. Um, in the meantime. You gotta give somebody a package or some crap? Yeah, let me just see if there's. Talk shop, bitch. Book, motherfucker. I'm not sure what that's for, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, what is that for? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, we need to talk to, um. Your mama. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not here. She's all the way up in Yimmer. Oh, uh, we gotta talk to this Jap turkey. Oh, the radio man. Is this me like fats in here? No? <laughs> Cigarettes? Sorry Good. to keep your way, Michael. <laughs> oh, there's a, there you are. I'm just glad you make it at all. Our special tonight, but uh, some people still haven't submitted what they want us to say during it. I mean, we could go ahead without them, but I'd feel kind of unfair if we did. Huh. I imagine it's, it'll probably just slip their minds considering how much every everyone has to uh, how much everyone has to do right now. Including me. Oh boy. <laughs> But you're taking the time to give everyone's event coverage, so I'm sorry that they had to put you through this. Ah, don't sweat it. The festival I'll sweat it. <laughs> the festival <laughs> uh, should have started the day drinking already. It gives us some good material every year, though. <laughs> you won't see me complain that the students are making it better. The Academy's getting lots of coverage ever since what happened last month, too. Ah, sorry. I don't, I don't. We don't have time to shoot the breeze about that. So you got shoot the breeze. Yeah. All so right. you got time to get this done. Yeah. Is that what they said in the twenties? You bet. I control <laughs> time. <laughs> I control all time. I'll be broadcast. Uh, you'll be broadcasting tonight. So let's get this done quickly as possible. You the man. Thanks. I'm still waiting on the replies from Class 1, 5, and the Occult Research Society. What? D don't worry about it. Oh, I don't... Uh, it's the goth girl. Yeah. I don't know I don't know where the people in charge of them are, but you'll probably... You probably will since you're from the same academy. Get those comments. Leave it to me. Class 1 should be rehearsing the operetta, so that's where I'll find everyone. Class 5's Mishy Panic will be set up in the gymnasium. Now leaves the Occult Society. I guess they'll head to their club room. Alright then, let's get going. Yeah, I can't imagine them being too enthusiastic about this. Well, they have their own way of do showing it. Mm. That kind of concerns me. <laughs> What's up? Whoa, hey. <laughs> that guy looked like he was sliding. You ran <laughs> past him so fast. <laughs> Okay, um, oh yeah, so let's just start talking to these honkies. <laughs> hey, lady. What's up, girl? Your hair is beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have a moment? You're so polite. Oh what are you goodness. doing here? This is the class one's practice area. Oh, you're a bitch. Did you say the sign that said class seven interlopers welcome? Or perhaps please interrupt us? No. Then move it on. Bitch, I ain't here for that. I'm only here to ask about Class 1's comment for the radio special on the Academy Festi Festival tonight. You still haven't submitted one. Ah. Shit. Right. Oh my gosh. Shit. Did I look like a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Did no one submit a comment for our class? What's only happened? Likewise, I've been so focused on practicing that it's slipped my mind. Ah. <laughs> Shit. 
Less than what? Then. This one will be performing an operetta set in the Middle Ages, known as the Coordination of Grudat. It was a dramatic tale of Grudat, a most noble lady favored by the Emperor himself, and she struggles against her own destiny. Oh my god. <clears throat> the leading roles be played to perfection by Patrick Hirams <laughs> and myself. Ferris Fjord Florida. Fucking patty cakes again, maybe. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be great. Our opera won't just be captivating, it's also educational. We even consulted an expert to ensure the script's accuracy. Dude, you guys are gonna be so fucking boring. I implore those Dude, of you you, you listening not to miss out on our fabulous performance. Especially in order to wa watch other lesser events performed by other lesser classes the very same day. We will not be tapped. I think that should do it for now. Thanks. Thanks. I'm not saying all that, dude. I fucking forgot it already. Like, Move it along. just kind of sounded pretentious, so I was like, uh, just zoned out like I always do when you guys keep talking and don't shut up. It's oh, like, get to the point. <laughs> Jim's <clears throat> over here. There. Only hit a few things. Hey, girl. Let's see. There you guys are. Hey, you. You mind work? Bane you to work. Mishy, why have you forsaken us? <laughs> uh, is this some weird cult I walked into? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> hey, you watch out. These Class 7 Jokers here to get dirt on us. What? You think that's a some sort of show? Get out of here before I make you get out of here. Stop a damn boy. <laughs> but the power of mission. <laughs> it's not about that. Truth is, they're batshit crazy. I rebuke you. <laughs> <laughs> the machine we're using isn't really working like it should, so we're a little on edge. <clears throat> we sent someone off to get George. Those, though, our technological woes should be over there, boy. Ooh. John. Yes. <laughs> but what's your story? Do you actually have a reason for coming, or are you actually spying on us? It's the fuck that I care about what you're doing, dude. I'm so fucking busy. You have any idea who I am? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, dude, that shit's a fucking classic. Yeah. Dude, when I was in Korea, I've watched that shit so many times. <laughs> Catch up, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks perfect for the guys in the red jackets. <laughs> we all catch up, bitches. <laughs> it, it's the former, I assure you. Stroll. <laughs> I hate to ask you when you're so busy, but it's about the festival feature on the radio tonight. Class five isn't pro hasn't pro uh, provided. The station with the comments, so I'm hoping you could say something. Oh, praise Mishy! Oh, adios, it's Munk. How <laughs> could that radio freak have forgotten that? Munk, like the weird lipped guy from Rock and Roll? From what? Oh my gosh. You have to watch clips of Mook. Mook. That's a weird title. No, 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 dude. That's just the character's name. He's oh. the villain. Oh, he's the villain. <laughs> yes. All right. At well. least watch like his like entrance scene. Oh my god, it's so fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look into that. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to ask him. <clears throat> what the hell, man? He seemed so excited when he told us that he'd take care of what he could even do right now. So instead we're... Oh, Whew. for the love of me. Uh, sorry. So instead of one of you coming up with a comment on the fly, I need to find Monk. Any idea where he might be at this moment? He's out front. It's not like his beanie fucking Tim Pool looking ass walking around with that camera. No, 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 that's not Monk. Oh, what the fuck's that guy's name? I don't know, something stupid. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Why would the idiot Let's call him Tim, I guess, instead. <laughs> <laughs> Something stupid seems kind of cruel. 
Whatever. <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> He's doing right now. Better be pretty important if he thinks he can just ditch us at a time like this. <clears throat> you sure he's not just sleeping? I, I forgot what his voice was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those five seconds really throw a dampener. I don't know. My thoughts was elsewhere. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> Maybe if I actually could hear myself in the headset, but yeah, that's a whole other fucking thing. <laughs> anyway... None of us have got time to come up with some fancy radio comment. Go find that motherfucker. Got it. <laughs> I'll go look for him at the lower class dorm. Hopefully I can actually find him. You sure sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick move. <laughs> this is just broken. George will be here soon. Oh, God. Okay, so here's the thing. This is a hidden quest. Uh -huh. It is literally the only hidden quest that ever has an exclamation over someone's head. I wonder if it's a bug. It's either a bug, or they... Oh, oh, oh hello there. <laughs> uh, or they didn't real... Or they forgot... They, like, just realized at the end that, hey, we should probably uh, do this for the hidden quest. Excuse but me. But they only put it on this one. But anyways, we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm certain I dropped it somewhere around here. My contact lens. Is Motherfucker, you got glasses on. Something to matter? Shit, they know. <laughs> nothing, nothing I say. <clears throat> For that matter, what are you doing when here when you have preparations to for the festival? Get back to work. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Normally, I would. Well, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> but you look as though something on your I have something on your mind. Are you sure you, I can't be of assistance? This is a personal matter, and you butting into our prayer. Oh, gosh. Well, hang in there, buddy. We oh, can do it. You I, sugar crashing? What's happening? I think so. I'm crashing, bro. <laughs> oh, Batman. And <laughs> you butting into my private oh, affairs <laughs> will do more harm than good. Though, since you're here, it couldn't hurt to ask. Have you seen my notebook in this area by chance? Oh, you just like that dumb girl from the first chapter. Damn it! <laughs> you look so angry. Mm, I lost my notebook. How good I It's got all my secrets. Yeah, and my black leather cover on it. I don't believe I've seen anything like that. Oh, you have to look, though. You straight up lost your black book, dude. You fucking retarded. <laughs> That's quite unnecessary to say. <laughs> <laughs> but if you find yourself inspired to help to assist me, may you do so by forgetting that this conversation took place. Understood? Yikes. This thing notebook has him up pretty more on edge than usual. I probably should talk shouldn't talk to him. That said, I'd be happy to find happy if I found that notebook. I'm sure he'd be happy if I found the notebook. I'll need some clues before I can do that though. Yo dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, read that shit before we get back. Bla little black notebook? Shit. <laughs> um hang on, is there any more food I can buy? Any ingredients or something. Battle scope. Uh, smoke grenade. Oh, we need stimulants. Bing bang boom. Actually, you know what? Let's get ten more. Okay, no. Yeah, I remember in tactics I'd always like try to have at least one of everything in the beginning because I was broke. But then a good like ten, and then. 25 and then like 50 and then hey look max everything max look I got all the max shield jacket that sounds protective and battle coat that sounds aggressive <laughs> shadow jack mm. that sounds delicious <laughs> <laughs> how much attack are they losing oh uh, they're actually losing a pretty decent amount uh, I'll think about that later so anyway. we had all green. Oh, well, that was another party member. I just need to unequip other people and then... Uh, let's see. Uh, this one. Hey, you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, did you <laughs> need something from me? Fucking, I need somebody that can play guitar. <laughs> that I do. 
I'm collecting comments for each of the festival's events for the radio broadcast focusing on, on How are you the most normal one about this? I had no idea the Occult Re Research Society actually are doing something for the festival, though. I certainly am. Yeah. Are, are you curious? No. <laughs> Seriously, she's like cool about like, hey, I'll tell you about what we're doing, too. She's the most normal. Everyone else is like a fucking prick about it. Apparently, class three and four know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Can I just have a simple answer, please? Very well, I suppose I can tell you. I'll be turning this room into a fortune telling house during the festival. How accurate will the fortunes I tell be? <laughs> That's for you to find out for yourself. Shit, I don't know if I want to get into that. I guess that I should just take her comment. Thanks. Oh, and as for that man from the radio station who sent you, I see a great deal of hardship in his future. <laughs> you better start. You better stop farting in that booth. <laughs> well, gee, I'd hate to get in the way of your preparation, so or his. I'd better get going now. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Marcus, so that's, uh, just staring at the table, it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Life's hard? Probably Oop, not. Oopsie. All right, later. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> just running around back and forth. Hey, you. Yeah, wh Where's that do doofus? You can't see Monk anywhere on the first floor. I better ask where he is. Excuse me, do you have a second? Rina asked the girl if he had seen Monk lately. Hmm, not today, I don't think. Day. <laughs> you, do you need him or something? Yeah, I need his comment for tonight's radio show. I guess I'll head to his room and just hope he's there. There's no need for that. Monk is here. <laughs> oh, it's the fucking weirdo. Uh, hey, friend. Hell yeah, what voice did I give him? Sorry for the wait, Reen. Something like that. <laughs> I've just finished writing up a comment for the radio show. Just now? Really freaking putting it in the last minute. On my 50s draft. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this comment is the fruit of two days of backbreaking non-stop labor. And then I finally was able to write it. <laughs> and then I passed out. <laughs> And when I say non-stop, I mean without so much as a wink of sleep. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the bags under his eyes are pretty intense, even for him. Such a radio geek. Yeah. <laughs> Misty won't be on the show, but a submission's a submission. Mm, I cannot miss the opportunity. <laughs> Only the very best is good enough. I can tell that you're curious, so let me read it to you. <laughs> no. You need to share. Shit. <laughs> Missy, uh -oh. the international sensation shall finally make Th is Thor's Academy military academy debut. Damn it! I messed it up. <laughs> Damn it all the hell. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Trouble is afoot. Missy and Michette are being attacked by the evil Missy, and the only way to save them is a smack smash and smash away. <laughs> So come along to Class 5's Mishy Panic and save Mishy and Michette from their terrible fate. Mishy Panic, the only place where smacking something so cute can be so refreshing. And that's that. Make sure they don't leave out a single word. I'll be listening. Uh, sure. Well, that's the last comment I collected. Should give these to the guy. He's a fucking freak. <laughs> Anyways. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, things get a little weird there when I did that. Perfect. Okay, good. Perfectly strange. <laughs> <laughs> yo, how to go? Yo! Is that uh, cool the kids say yo these days? Uh, yeah, it went fine. <laughs> Hooray! I've got all three comments right here. We relay the comments to Michael. Hmm, good stuff. I'll forget it in a moment. <laughs> Good. Generally short comments, so I'm pretty sure they'll get some great reactions from our guests. Oh, and this is going to be a fantastic show. Before you run off, take some of these. They're really handy to help me out. 
Celestial bomb. What are you been getting into combat? Those are reviving people when they die. <laughs> With this lung cancer, I do one every week. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck. What's the next show? <laughs> right back at you. Good thing I had more than three on me. Right. <laughs> Let's do what we gotta do and make it. This way. Huh? Oh, use one of those quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like a plan. <laughs> On air, bitch. Okay. Now we gotta finish, um... Let's see. Oh, there's the del package delivery mission. Mm. Let's see. I think that was up on the second floor. How do you remember this? Dude, I've got, like, the best memory ever. Sure. <laughs> Um, where the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they said second fl f second floor, didn't they? I guess maybe it was third uh, for first. It was a floor. <laughs> there yeah. was definitely a floor. There's the, the floor. first floor. Excuse me, I heard the package was mistakenly delivered to glass two. Is this where I can pick it up? Oh, I am glad to see you. Do you have a minute? <laughs> I'll show you right now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> it's right over here. Margarita. Margarita. <laughs> he says he's here for the package. Oh, how fortunate. I was just about to put it away, too. Come along now. That means eat it. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> we must get cut into the package. Are these cones? That's where they are. We play. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting some boundaries for Stella Grand. But nothing to that garnish. None of us ordered them by mistake either. We suspect they may, may be meant for another class. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't mention it. I'm pretty sure I saw some cones on the field. I'll take these over there and ask around. You mean it? Thank you. In that case, we will leave this matter in your capable hands. Because I'm not doing shit. Yeah, uh, I wasn't uh, <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> but you chase down boys all day, gotcha. Actually, wasn't that something you made me do? <laughs> Shit. Ah, uh, somebody did it. Excuse me, do you have a minute? I believe this package is for you. A package, you say? Uh-huh. <laughs> Holy shit, I know this box. Oh, yes. Those are cones we plan on using for a super stallion. <laughs> Quite the name. Thank you. It took so long to arrive that I started wondering if I'd list the wrong address or some bullshit. My thanks to you. Good man. <laughs> Old sport. <laughs> Old sport. <laughs> Our preparations can continue as scheduled. Ah, how do you get help? I'm sure the certain council is running themselves ragged right now. But you've Sorry. dug well. Yeah. A sticker for you. <laughs> <laughs> Even so, we have another issue to resolve. What? <clears throat> oh? I have no one for the dance. No. <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting on, on our cones, we had another parcel mistakenly delivered to us. Hmm? We never get square boxes here. <laughs> 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 Only rectangular. <laughs> I deliberately asked for rectangles. <laughs> you see it over there? Fucking box. You need a square bullshit. Get out of here, you fucking cube. <laughs> <laughs> We've had our heads full of it. So we hadn't quite decided what to do with this crap. I was going to kick it off the cliff, but... Eh. That makes sense. <laughs> Any idea what's inside it? Freshly printed books. Shit I don't need. A sizable number of them, I might add. Hmm. These probably are stock, probably stock rather than personal book delivery. 
Would you mind if I took a look and take care of these? I might know who they are meant for, so I can take care of them if they're right for owners. Just get that squared fucker out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> uh, seriously. By all means. <laughs> Take the books to the rightful owners. Righteously. I will. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I guess they're just supposed to go I to the I found your library. cones, horsey. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Damn it. Have you found my black book? Not yet. <laughs> oh, damn it. Hello. Mm. I know, right? Lumptuous. Seriously, what the fuck's she doing? She's getting just, sassy? She's getting sassy. Bouncy hey. puppy, bouncy puppy. Oh, it's a library. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, um, she's looking for them. I think uh, that would be enough. Oh, that's Karen. Karen. Carol. No, it's Carol. Car yeah, Carol is cool, but Karen is looking for the manager with her short hair. <laughs> Uh, I asked my friend to help, and she sent some really nice ones too. Even though we're set, you know, sending up everything this year, it's always worth the work. I hardly can wait to see the excited look on children's faces, are, especially with the really little ones. I said that so wrong. <laughs> just, what the fuck just happened? Did you drop off the books? <laughs> no, I guess they. Do, I guess they don't go there. Where the hell do they go? Uh, I don't know. There's a green thing over there. And that's the stupid doofus. Doofus. Patty cakes? No, it doesn't. Green arrow's not inside there. I don't know that. Oh, it's actually the bookstore? Really? That also makes sense. I mean, yeah. Hello, the Professor of Operations come along. <laughs> I'll be able to help you in any way I can. All, I need to, all you need to do is ask. Believe it or not. Alright, Thin Albert. <laughs> <laughs> I have a package for you. At least I think I do. A box full of Woo Baby. Hot damn. <laughs> Woo Baby be so like hotcakes. <laughs> I need the Woo Baby. <laughs> and my cakes. So they delivered to the wrong place, didn't they? Here I was thinking it got was delayed by a high volume of shipments this time of the year. Well, I'm glad it's here now. Though I should regret, regret taking, <laughs> taking up around the time when you're so busy. Yeah, don't worry about it. I control time, so the academy's close enough. That wasn't a problem. Uh, that's kind of you. <laughs> but weird. <laughs> this reminds me, though. Someone else's package was delivered to me, too. Motherfucker. I would have <laughs> murdered this fucking mailman. <laughs> It's a rectangle. <laughs> well, that you might have had a look? Not at all. It ain't mine. Fuck it. <laughs> I looked into it myself. Jeez. To see if it was something I ordered and later forgotten about. It looks... It's full of books, but they're certainly not our regular stock. Ain't a single boo baby in there. You opened the package and inspected the contents. Hmm. These are different. The books are so slim. Maybe a short story? Pretty sure I've seen something like this before. I think one of the students at the academy might have ordered this. Maybe it's something someone someone wrote and planned to sell during the festival. If that's the case, then there's no point in leaving them here. I'll take them with me and try to figure out who they belong to. Class two. Uh, I think it's the library. As if I weren't already worried about taking up your time with busy work. But thank you and very much for doing this. But here's more busy work. Yep. I ain't leaving this fucking store unattended, bitch. I got my my business. My busyness. Pretty sure it's the it's essential. Yep, it I don't know, student union Who's building. Who's that rich looking fucker? Oh, he just Is that the one that hits on you? No, he asked us because he he had the love letter. And he asked us to go oh, around talking about the girls. It was the big girl. Yeah. And he was like, no. I'm very vain. So. Oh. But apparently she likes everybody. Yup. She's throwing it around everywhere. We finished up our book and sent it out and copy and bind them, but they're taking their time sending them back. I'm sure they. 
I really want I, them to go over everything and make sure that it all came out okay. Yeah. Excuse me, are these books uh, you're looking for? Oh shit, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Motherfucker, you just put it on the floor? <laughs> that's them, that's definitely them. Thank goodness. I was really starting to worry that they wouldn't get here in time. Sniffles. Sniffles. <laughs> <laughs> now we're really able to hold up our little reading circle just as planned. I really would like some boys to attend and share their impassioned views on the works to... Uh, Are you that wrote that gay stuff? <laughs> <laughs> That's a serious question. You had to read gay stuff once. Oh yeah, we spent that one thing with uh, Emma. Emma. Yeah, a bunch of fan fiction. It was like a bunch of porno. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird for some of these guys to be reading. Yeah, well they're high school kids or college kids. I don't know. Well, they, they, yeah. Ah, beats of my heart. Well, I'm getting the hell out of here. Well then, <laughs> I'll be, uh, that's all I'm here for, so. You got the one, do you have an Arcus? Hold on a moment. I just remembered something. Well, let me guess, you, something you didn't ask for was delivered here too, right? How did you know? This box. It's rectangle, but it's standing. It's weird. Get rid of it. I assume this box would uh, would be my box in it. I'm a little quite surprised when I found something different inside. Man, mind if I take a look? It's full of ornaments. They all look really expensive too. There's an elegant-looking lamp and stand, and is that a statue of a Pegasus. We better not drop this one. It's helping our for our readings are going to be a little more like a tea party, but I'm not looking for anything this expensive looking. So I'm sure there will be there. These must be meant for someone else. Hmm. Hmm. All the packages were delivered just to the <laughs> wrong people. This man might be for the first person. Finally, I'll hold on to this if you don't mind. I think I may know who ordered it. Milton, it's all yours. And please do come along to our reading circle during the festival. You might want to bring a friend or two along. Ah, uh, think about it. Alright. Uh, hey, you guys. So let me get this straight. You delivered every single package in the wrong place. I'm gonna break your legs. I'm sorry. I only started the job, so I don't care all about your excuses. Just tell me where our ornaments are when I'm arriving. Yee! I'm sorry. All right, I'll get the bat. <laughs> you hold them. Ah, looks like I'm just in time to watch. <laughs> are you waiting on these by any chance? Holy crap. <laughs> Saved my ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here they are. Not a single one out of place. Now we can finally get started on the interior. Did you really re-deliver all everything for me? Sorry, thank you so much. No worries. It was kind of a pain, but uh, I get why it happened. Seriously, don't worry about it. Even so, I still end up causing you trouble. Wait, take these. Like three Pokemon cards. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, Pikachu's my favorite. <laughs> At least it's the least I could do. I'll be sure that this never happens again, and you can count on that. Well, goodbye, sorry again. He's a busy one, alright. I hope he's not running off to fix more mistakes. I guess it's just because. So many deliveries uh, to make with everyone getting all ready for the festival. Mm -hmm. Definitely makes it harder. Yeah. So, uh, blame him for messing up, I guess. Still uh, a bit of a fuck up. Uh, uh, this is like his first day. I, uh, you gotta give a kid a break, I guess. Uh, that is true. Anyway, it seems like things are sorted out. Really appreciate that, huh? 
Yeah, keep the change. <laughs> we may be rivals, but you have my appreciation too. Mm. I hope both of our festival plans go as well as they can. Yeah, uh, the better the attractions, the better the festival. Bam, completed. Thirsty. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that does it for those. Now we gotta help out the doofus. Um, let's see. Oh, we need to talk to the... Doofus? No, no, no. The vice president. We gotta talk to the main president guy, too, though. Professor President? Oh, that's the conference room? Whoops. Here we go. What the fuck? Professor Cloud is here? Good job. Yep. <laughs> mm. Oh, mm. that's right. I imagine you cannot steal this force from me. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the recent crisis there had a significant effect on the outcome. Indeed. Just the right amount. Regardless, an overwhelming majority voted in favor. I suspect we shall see significant developments very shortly. In the meantime, I plan to, to re on returning to Guerrilla Fortress. Understood. I wish the best of luck to you. Oh, oh. What the fuck are you doing here? Good day, Schwarzer. Schwau Schwauzer. Schwauzer. Schwauzers. I'm afraid I'll be taking a, another leave of absence. I do plan on returning in time for the Academy Festival, however. And I'll make you swim till your fucking arms fall off. In my absence, uh, be sure to focus on your preparations. Things have become a bit concerning on Crossbell's side, too. You students need not concern yourselves with uh, that for now, however. Please focus on preparations for your uh, little festival and allow us to handle the big boy stuff. Am I not doing this right? You don't understand the true purpose of the bazooka, so I'm not telling you nothings. You haven't shot a single thing yet. I don't know if you have the bottles for this. Yeah. Is that different? That's a different line. That's the it? same line, too. However, uh, please focus on your bullshit. Okay. Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> All right. I guess I messed things up. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Speak to that guy, and then speak to him again. Then go to the main building. Okay, so we need to talk to him again one more time. Oh fuck, I must get going. Whoa. <laughs> I must have dropped it and making my rounds. <laughs> oh, the rooftop, if that's the only place that makes sense. Oh, it must <laughs> fucking be around here somewhere. He seems to drop it on the roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I stopped him when he's in the middle of that one so <laughs> You bugged him out, dude. <laughs> Still hit it. Uh, <laughs> okay. What's up, girl? Excuse me, want to ask you a question? Yeah. I believe Vice President Hen Hendrich... Uh, Hendrich! Up, whatever. Was up here a while ago. We can give a brief rundown of the situation. I see, that makes sense. Yeah, you was up here, came along, checked out shit, took a nap. <laughs> kind of weird. He was using his notebook, uh, there's all sorts of checklists for arrangements or some crap. Kind of thing, man. I wouldn't be surprised if his notebook was full of info on everyone's festival plans. Finding He's spying it, on us. Finding it would be a top priority. He wants the best show. <laughs> Remember if he was standing where he was standing at the time? Just about right here. There, he's looking at the courtyard or some crap, creeping on everybody. Oh my gosh, he's such a creep, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he left right after that. He overheard some guy messing around the fields or something, so he moved over to yell at them a little better because you know he's an asshole. I think he pulled over and leaned over and. You know, he almost fell off. It's kind of funny. 
but I was a little scared. I didn't want to like actually have somebody fall off, but it's funny when it's almost like not happening. <laughs> Which means it probably didn't fall into the courtyard. Thanks, that narrows things down. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay, now we gotta go downstairs. Down, 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 down. It was like a straight line, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's see, now we need to talk to... Your mama. No. Damn. I'll get it right one of those times. Let's see, go near the entrance and <clears throat> speak to a female student near a wooden board. A female student near a wooden board. Well, that was a guy staring at a wooden board. That's different. Yeah. That's a guy staring at a box. That's a girl staring at... Nothing. She's in a trance. That's a guy staring at a board. No, it's a guy. It's a guy. It says near the entrance to the oh, Academy Field. Whoops. Like the field. <laughs> there, she there she is. Hey, girl, how you doing? Excuse me, may I ask you something? Oh, my goodness, is something wrong? Do you need a hand some help? Hello? Uh, not exactly. Ooh, this is the briefest explanation I've ever heard of a situation. Oh, so you're looking for a notebook? Oh, hmm. Now that I think about it, believe it, it's a first year boys prancing and fopping about something they found. Hmm, that might be what you're looking for. Ah, fantastic, that's my next step. Then this might e go over even faster than I thought. You know where they went? I believe I heard them say something about going someplace that was somewhere, so look sharp. <laughs> I'm sorry, I <laughs> wish I could be more specific. <laughs> no, no, that's a great lead. Somewhere quiet, huh? I might know where that might be. So, Decide. no time to wait. Um, waste. Waste, whatever. <laughs> I better get going. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm I just are. happy I got to use fopping. <laughs> it's from Felseal. What's up, foppy boys? Yo, this is a good find. What did you think of this photo, Rex? Rex? Ow! Oh, is it of Mishy? <laughs> <laughs> that was I was doing the other guy. Ah, oh, whoops. I don't it's, remember what we did for him. It's definitely an amateur shot, but it captures the energy of a live performance. It's almost too good. I wonder if I still have. The notebook's covered in some sort of expensive looking leather or some stuff. It would be perfect for Mishy. <laughs> I'll burn it for her. Excuse me, guys. Please don't. Uh, what the? Oh, I'm weird. You found that notebook somewhere, right? Might have to take a look at it. Oh crap! Guess that answers our question about the owner. Oh man! Oh well, here we go. Black leather notebook. This one matches the description. That means it belongs to Vice President Hendrick. Heinrich. Listen, I wanted to have a better look at her too. I know rap. I never seen her before, but damn. Oh, well, it's probably for the best way to return to its owners. Oh, no. There's only one person that owns the notebook. Mm-hmm. guy seems pretty devoted to... Who the fuck? Dude, the vice president is creeping on somebody? You'll see. This just gets ugly. <laughs> yeah. He's what in love with Sarah. Oh. <sighs> yeah, right. Oh. So hey, for the trouble. Make sure it gets in the hand back in the right hands. Gosh, Let him know he's got our seal approval, all right? Aight. Uh, uh, sure, sure, the three creepiest guys on campus give somebody a seal of approval on how they that person thinks of a woman. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Now well, that that'd be a bad idea. I should just go straight back to the guy. Even if it isn't his, I can just turn it at the reception. Hey, don't tell me you're not a fan, too. Nice. Or er, nice. 
That's how you read that. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ha. Nice. All right. She isn't that well known in the Empire, but I guess Class 7 types are pretty worthy. Uh, okay. Gotta get the hell out of here. Now I gotta <laughs> read this. <laughs> Just get this quest yeah. turned in. We got music. Oh, yeah. Hey, you. Some motherfucker. Get your crap. Slap! Here's your book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you again. <laughs> I'm busy. Oh. I'm busy. A concept you see, clearly seem to not be familiar with so well yourself with. State your business without delay. May I talk to you earlier, you motherfucker? <laughs> Find your book, bitch. I found your black leather book. No book, and thought it might be yours. You think I slapped you with when I showed up? <laughs> I thought you just slapped me. <laughs> this is indeed my notebook. Damn <laughs> it! You. You wouldn't have happened to look inside it, would you? No, but the other, the other guys did. No, no, of course not. Well, I mean... I, I did this. <laughs> Harumph. Harumph. Of course. How could I have expected such a privacy infringing behavior from a student of our esteemed academy? <laughs> oh, you, you dropped something. Oh, bollocks. Is this... Okay, so that is a wow, character. I guess the weird vibe I was picking up was some merit. So that is a character from the game Trails of Azure, which is a, a Trails game that only came out in Japan. So I should know about this. I don't either. <laughs> but that's just the. This is just kind of like a little shout out, I guess, to mm. like the other Trails games or something. Just like a reminder that hey, these exist. Or, I don't know. So does Nay. Anyways. <laughs> uh, it seems uh, to be a picture of some dancer wearing a remarkably skimpy outfit. That's hot. Some dancer? How dare you? You call some, one of the greatest artists of our time so dancer? Foolishness. Foolishness. Art. Uh, foolish. Squish, squish, squish. Milk. Popping about everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she is a member of Crossbill's highly esteemed theater troupe, Arc and Seal. To call him. Salah. Salut. Maybe one of those letters is silent. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I only barely speak English. To call her a mere dancer is churlish. Churlish, you determined. It, it seriously said churlish. It was C R C H U R L I. I'm sure that's a word that's real. That doesn't. It's not some like weird way of saying children. Or childish. childish. Yeah. Churlish. Though I believe that is what it is. I've never. Because heard I have of no it. other reference. <laughs> I have never heard of that word before. <laughs> They are known for their magnificent and passionate performances. Repellent. Replete. Whatever. <laughs> An acrobatic feat that would blow your mind. Mm. Like Tenacious D blow your mind. Arkansas represents true art. Capture the hearts and eyes of those blessed enough to bear them witness. My eyes were closed for their glory until I was invited to see one of their performances in Crossburn. Their brilliance is renowned across the continent, rivaling even the acclaim this nation operas receive. There's no shame in admiring Rixa Mao's many charms, but on the contrary, those who don't should hang their heads in shame. No such shame. Her talent is such that she has cast it in, in a leading role almost immediately after her debut. Furthermore, she's earned everything she has through the hard work and dedication. Is it any I wonder why she, why we love her so? Do you fucking simp? Tragically, <laughs> the, recent, <laughs> the recent terrorist attack in Crossbows impacted Arkansas just as it would any other citizens. But I believe in them. No setback is too great. To stop them from soaring to even greater levels of excellence. <laughs> the, the voices of the fans shall be their support as they continue the climb 
We shall support Rixie and Mao. Uh, oh, fuck. Hi. Hey. Wow, that was the last thing I ever expected to hear from him. Well, at least I didn't admit to buying her a $150 <laughs> gift. Oh, shit. Allow <laughs> me to thank you for returning my book. That said, you ought to seal your memories of this discussion away in the deepest reaches of your mind and never to reemerge. I'll just, um... I'm just gonna go. <laughs> no, cool. This is not a bribe, understood. It is a token to ensure that you put every last ounce of effort into serving the Academy Festival. Given that Class 7 is trailing behind in other, the other classes, I hope that this acts as an appropriate motivator. I fully expect you to prepare with the highest level of diligence so that you do not bring shame upon this academy. Yeah, you too. <laughs> what are you about trailing behind? We're kicking ass. We're ahead of everybody. Look at this book. I'm taking names. <laughs> Anyways, that'll do it for this episode. I staring at a block of wood. Yeah, this episode's over. We'll uh, see everybody next time. Bye.